Hiya and welcome to Japan Crate for October 2020. Um, I'm really, really shocked that it is the 1st of October and the box has come today, which is absolutely fabulous. I know that we're paying more for it now, but brilliant, absolutely brilliant. If it's an October subscription, it should be here the beginning of October. It just makes sense. So this is a premium box, which is a lovely Halloween edition. Um, so we've got our normal little Halloween leaflet. Hey look, Pokemon! Yay, love Pokemon. So what have we got in this one? So there's two bo uh, three boxes they do. is a mini original and premium. And I always have the premium because I would hate to miss out on anything. Oh, that's squishy. So what's that one? So happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's that one. Because that says happy Halloween. So it probably is. It feels squishy. Uh, vanilla angel pie. Um, soft vanilla marshmallow is sandwiched between biscuit covered in rich chocolate fondue. That sounds rather yummy. So the next one, that's a quite a big bag. Oh, look, little man with a glass of red wine on there. Oh, they're cute. Oh no, they're supposed to be scary. They're scary. Okay, so um, where's this, this one? Um, always please allow for my pronunciation. Punchino. <laughs> Punchino. Halloween ask assort Russian roulette. Uh oh. Game of Russian roulette let awaits with this version of Puncho chewing candy, especially for Halloween. Originally individually wrapped in disguise, it's hard to tell what all the flavors are, including grape, muscat. Is that wine? I don't know. Was it grape? Oh, it was already great. I don't know. Um, orange and the last one, devilish flavour of hot habanero. Oh, my days. Yeah. I don't want that one, but I'm going to have that one because I eat them. Oh. Becky. Oh, bag of crisps. And yes, crisps. Um... Let's see what that one is. There it is. Um, that's the aerial rich cheddar cheese flavour. Yum, yum. And of course, if it says cheddar cheese, it should come from cheddar in England. As it should be. Uh, popular snack in Japan. Uniquely four vis visible four layers in each bite. Oh, that sounds good. Perhaps they're not crisps. They're kind of puffy wheat things. Okie dokie. All right, so the next one we have a Pocky. I like a Pocky. It's a special Halloween edition. Uh, it's a bonus item. A strawberry flavour. I love strawberry flavour things. Japanese strawberry flavour seems to be the best. Really, really are. Pussycat! How cute! How cute! I adore cats. Cats rule. Where's the pussycat one? Mm hmm. Does it, does it do this just to totally fool me? So, is it that one? Is it that one? Enjoying a mini marble chocolate treat and maybe just maybe you'll transform into the character that graces the cover. I think it is that one. I gotta be a pussycat. And then I get pampered and spoiled and have lots of treats all the time like my pussycat. So now we have the... Caramel corn, which so far I've pretty much loved all of them because they're just yummy. Um, this is a pumpkin pudding caramel corn. I'm not over keen on pumpkin 
really, but uh, uh, it says it doesn't have the typical pumpkin pie flavour. Well, then I'll probably like it then. It leans towards more sweet and what is typical of spices for all. Mm. We have a blue fish. Or is it a silver fish? Or is it a blue fish? Mm -hmm. I tend, I've had a couple of these and I've found them a bit chemically. But I will try it, of course. Um, where's the fish? Who's got the fish? Who's got the fish? There's the fish. It's not a magic carp, though. Uh, I'm not going to say that word. It's a Thai zombie fish. Zombie edition made of crunchy wafers and an airy black currant flavoured chocolate fitting. Okay. Feels like, like it's not broken as well, which is nice. What's this? Da, da, da. Oh, it's a DIY. Hey, I love a DIY. Um, a Kanashi Namuzu Ami. Or something similar. DIY grape goodness. This sugary treat experience individual flavours of ramoon, soda, lemon and strawberry. Excellent. Look forward to playing with that one. Oh, a little bag. A tiny little bag. Alright, so this, this is not that one. A little bag. There it, oh, another one that's confused me with different colours. High chew mini pieces. Uh, high chew ball pieces in mini packaging experience and enjoy four types of sweet and sour flavours. Mix them together to concoct your own conc <laughs> conc <laughs> Make your own mystery frankincense flavour this Halloween. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a big bag. Big bag of Mickey and Minnie and Donald and oh they oh they look like them little koala ones but with Mickey Mouse <gasps> love those koala ones um here we are uh pack nacho cocoa petite pack. Almost too cute to eat. This whole bag contains individually wrapped packages to share the cocoa filled sweet biscuits. Oh, they look really yummy. So, this one is another Halloween trick or treat. Oh, is this another dodgy one? Is it that one? Okay, Halloween Umbio. Um, 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 I can never say it. I can never say it. Around since 1979, this October released their classic corn puff snack in Halloween packaging, which consumed only on their mascot. Did you get? Oh, which one did you get? Um, This little fella. Doesn't say what flavour though, does it? No. That would be a surprise then. So, what we have here. Is this a chewing gum? Down to be a chewing gum. Not, not gone on chewing gum. Hey, guess that right. A monster gum. Uh, one of the three of them is super sour. I quite like that. Um, and spookify your taste buds at the same time with this newest flavour of monster energy with a tingling energy energy drink taste too i like monster energy drinks they're good they're not just good they're very good um okay a little blue tongue monster so that must make your tongue blue zombie gum makes your tongue blue i'm good at this Little bear, this little koalas. 
Yeah, that's made by Lottie. They're the people that make the koala ones, I'm sure. Oh, I love them koala buns. So is this a little packet of them? Yep, and again, different colour packaging. Just look at the easy. Um, Halloween edition. Chocolate. And tastes like sweet chocolate cake. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Right. I like those ones. More chewing gum that makes your tongue blue. That's original because we haven't had one of those. Oh, yes, blue gum. Two blue gum. That's disappointing. Could have a different colour. Could have green or something. Monster stamp. Oh, look. So is this a sweet or is it a stamp? Okay. Uh, no, it's not that one. Monster stamp. Stamp your tongue spooky and watch your tongue get dyed with this funky colours from this monster inspired candy. Okay. What we got now? Oh. What is it? Literally. What is it? Uh, monster party gummy. This Halloween quick treat received one of an assortment of spooky shapes. It looks like a bat. We don't do bats. Bats are not funny anymore. Right, so what else we got? Just a drink? Just the drink. Ah, <laughs> where's Wally? There he is. That wasn't difficult, was it? 2020 season limited. Creme brulee. Wasn't that a band? On the League of Gentlemen or something? I don't know. Um, Lipton cream brulee. Taste cream brulee without the work of making custard to flambe. This milk tea by Lipton tastes like the actual dessert and is only around for a limited time with Where's Wally? So there we are. That's um, October's Delights. So I have some fun trying that. This little fella needs definitely to go in the fridge. Guys, it doesn't look it, uh, uh, it doesn't look very nice, does it? Mm. Yes. But there we are. So please like, subscribe, visit again and cheers.